Oh, 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 there we go. And we got a good one. That's a decent fish right there. Let's go. Is that an orange trout? I think it is. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody, welcome back to Call of the Wild, the Angler. This is another early morning recording as this update dropped like super, super early. I think it was at like two or three in the morning. And uh, now it's at about 7 a.m. PST. So it's only been out for a few hours at this point and we're gonna jump straight into it and take a look at all the brand new stuff. Um, and yeah, I, I pretty much just woke up as well. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be an interesting recording, but we gotta do it. There's a brand new update. And I want to dive into everything. So first of all, in the souvenir shop, as you can see, there is now unlock requirements in there and also way more things that you have to get in order to be able to purchase it. 10 legendary tokens, four diamond tokens and 40 gold tokens, along with 50,000 credits for this boat right here. And the way that you acquire these uh, gold tokens, legendary tokens and diamond tokens is by catching a fish with the corresponding medal. So if you want to get the legendary tokens, you got to go for the legendary fish. If you want the diamond tokens, you got to catch a diamond fish, etc. And that's going to make it so that you can purchase some of these souvenir items. We uh, go into the equipment tab and we've got ourselves a lot of interesting things that have changed. First of all, we can expand our tackle box and our backpack finally, which is a really huge thing that a lot of people have been very excited for. So let's just go ahead and buy these uh, tackle box expansions like right now now <laughs> let's go finally can carry more lures and then we're also going to need to get a well actually three diamond tokens and 10 gold tokens in order to get a backpack expansion which i believe that increases the amount of rods and reels that you can carry with you so that's going to be very very nice something else you're going to notice is a lot of the higher end tackle is actually requiring tokens now as well so i'm really happy that i purchased this uh bait casting reel and rod before this change happened if you didn't purchase it before then you've got a long road ahead of you in terms of the amount of tokens you're going to need i mean this rod and reel alone is going to require eight diamonds 10 legendaries and 80 golds and that's just you know between those two items alone which is kind of crazy it also does appear that there may be some new fishing rods and reels in here. Uh, there was not really anything in the patch notes that said uh, that we got any new rods and reels. As far as I'm aware, I could have skimmed over it by accident, but I did not see anything in the patch notes that mentioned new tackle, but I definitely see a couple in here that look different. And uh, the one that's most notable is right here. I don't believe this was a thing before the the worky ticket i don't believe this was in the game i could be completely wrong there again if i am let me know in the uh, comments but i'm pretty sure that is a new bait casting rod and uh it doesn't look like there's anything new in the um i mean maybe this this actually could be new i don't think i've seen this one before the x86 but again those of you that uh know whether or not that is uh actually added in for sure let me know in the comments below Oh yeah, there's definitely some new stuff. I have never seen this reel right here. I'm like 99% sure this has to be new. That reel looks sick though. That's definitely a reel that we're gonna end up purchasing at some point. We're kind of broke at the moment, so I need to earn some more money. But uh, we will be buying some of this new tackle at some point in the very near future. Um, this might be a new baitcaster though. I don't believe so. This actually does look uh, familiar if we go over to the lures there actually is a few new sizes to some of the lures uh the first one i noticed is the spinner i don't believe there was a size 10 before and i'm not sure if there was a size 8 or 9 either i think all of these are brand new in fact they definitely are because i think i had purchased every single spinner before so we're definitely going to go ahead and buy all of these right here because spinners are some of the more useful lures in the game there is also a bunch of new frog sizes in uh, smaller sizes than before, so that's pretty sick. And I believe these crankbaits are also new, so that is amazing as well. Using tiny crankbaits is honestly going to be pretty fun. And I believe there is some new swim baits. I could be wrong on this one, though. I never I never really use the swim baits in this game, so I don't know if these were already in here before, but it's possible that there's a couple new ones. Man, already I noticed the massive differences in the water. This looks really, really good compared to what it used to look like. And uh, it's a lot harder to see the fish in the water now as well. So that is really going to change things up for us. And 
make it so that we have to rely less on sight fishing and more on just knowing the places to catch the fish. There we go, our first fish of the day. I actually caught jigging a grub. This looks like it might be a walleye. This might be our first brand new fish of this update. Is it? No, it is a largemouth bass. Unfortunate start to the day. One thing that you guys will definitely notice while you're fishing now is you're going to get credits every single time that you catch a fish and you're also going to get a different amount of XP for like the same size of fish based on the tackle that you're using. So that's going to make things a little bit more interesting and it'll also make it so you can't just go out there with the biggest tackle in the game and expect to be leveling up at the same pace as somebody that's using the appropriate tackle for that and for that particular fish. There we go, we got our second bite of the day. Uh, if we keep catching bass here, we're probably gonna end up moving, but I did wanna check out just what we could get in some of the existing areas that I used to know were good for specific uh, species and see if we can get other stuff here. Uh, if we continue to just get the, the same old same, then we're gonna go up to one of the lakes that I know for a fact we'll have some new stuff. That is a smallmouth bass. Well, unfortunate. You know what, let's go ahead and try one of these brand new spinners. We're going to use the size 8 and see if we can manage to hook into anything here. I definitely think it's possible that uh, maybe we just need a change of lure. Because uh, we were jigging the grub and I think that might be why we weren't getting any of like the new trout or anything like that. Because I definitely feel like trout should be in this particular uh, mouth of the river. There we go, we got a fish on. Let's see what this guy ends up being. I'm hoping this will be one of the new fish, but it very well could just be another bass or even a rainbow trout. Let's see what we got here. That does appear to be a bass. Yep, we've got a, ourselves another smallmouth bass. I think it's time to move to a different location. And we have finally made it to a pond that is guaranteed to have some of the new fish. This one right here contains the green sunfish, brook trout, black crappie, orange trout, and the yellow perch and you can find it right over here. We're gonna see if we can hook into some of the brand new fish because there's a pretty high chance that we will at this particular location. There we go, we finally got a fish on. Uh, this guy we hooked on a size five spoon, so I'm not exactly sure which species this is gonna be. That looks to be the orange trout. Yeah, that's an orange trout, 5.84 pounds. That is amazing. I did notice there might have been a little bit of a bug there because it didn't uh, it didn't pop up out of the water fully. Like half of the fish appeared to be invisible, so that might be a bug. We'll keep uh, we'll keep an eye on it as we go and see if there's any like similar things that happen. But that definitely looked a little bit strange. Other than that, though, the actual fish model looks incredible. There we go. We've got another fish on already. Literally the next cast. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this guy's actually taking out some lines. So we need to crank up the drag. Definitely a larger fish than the last one. I'm really hoping this is another orange trout because if it is, this could be a gold. This could be a gold based on how it's fighting. Which would be just absolutely incredible to- Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, that is definitely, I believe, a gold orange trout. It's gotta be. It is. 8.16 pounds. We already got ourselves a giant gold, and we've just started. And that's our uh, first gold token. Love to see it. Another thing you may notice is uh, they made it so the character smiles larger based on how big the fish is, which is interesting. I didn't really ever think that I needed something like this, but after seeing some of the screenshots, I, it's it's insane. It, it's just an, an amazing change. <laughs> Uh, especially for some of the like comedically large smiles you see on your character when you get a giant fish. I've seen a few screenshots floating around and it's uh, it's kind of funny. It is kind of funny. And now that we've caught ourselves a gold, let's talk about another massive change. They increase the amount of golds and diamonds on Golden Ridge Reserve to make it a bit more in line with what you see on Norway because for a while now, Norway was for some reason just more consistent with getting gold plus. And Golden Ridge, it felt almost impossible to get a diamond or even a gold of some species, like the bluegill. So they did a little bit of a pass through all of the different fish species and revamped the distribution of metals that you'll be catching. So you should see a few more golds and diamonds showing up on Golden Ridge. Ooh, look what we've got there. That is a black crappie, I think. Yep, there we go. It looks like a black crappie as far as I can tell. Let's just horse this guy in here. 
And uh, yeah, it's a silver crappie. 0.79 pounds, but uh, still got 18 credits for it, so not too bad. Good to see another new fish. Oh, there we go. Another fish. Looks to be another crappie, and it definitely is. Get this little guy in here. Probably about the same size as the last one. Yeah, a little bit smaller even. Also, before we get too far in the video, if you're one of the console players that's been eagerly awaiting this game, it will be soon. We don't know an exact date, but they did mention that it would come out shortly after the actual update came out. Uh, that way, like, the update's all ready to go for the console release, and they said it was ready for PC earlier than console, so that's why we've got it now on PC, and then console release will be following shortly after. Ooh, there we go. That looks like a good one. That honestly might be a green sunfish. That might be a green sunfish. Maybe? I mean, whatever it is, it's nicer. It's a crappie. It's a gold. 1.29 pounds. Let's freaking go, man. That is incredible. We got our first gold crappie. So that's two golds on the day. Definitely seeing the uh, increase in golds already, which is amazing because it was almost impossible to get a gold before. A gold felt like a diamond with the with the old distribution of metals. Now a gold really does feel more in line with what a gold should be. There we go. We got a fish on. I could actually see this one. Uh, we got a little bit of flickering going in the uh, water. I think it's because of the bridge right there. So uh, that might be something they need to work out a little bit is this it's a pike okay i'm trying to get some musky to bite but as of now it's just been primarily pike whenever i'm going for them so i don't know how much of that will be in the video as it's not a new fish uh we'll see though i really want to get at least a tiger musky or a walleye today if i can get one of those i'll be happy there we go we got another fish on let's see what this guy ends up being please be a musky and not a pike please be a musky. It looks like it's a pike. Oh, it's a musky. Let's go. Let's go. We got a tiger musky. 3.21 pounds, but it's still a tiger musky. That is awesome. This guy is definitely not going to break any records, though. I'm really curious how big the musky can get. Because these, uh, they had mentioned when they were showing off the update in one of the recent EW streams that some of the fish that were being added could rival the size of existing, like, biggest fish. And that thing definitely, uh, as a bronze, was not super crazy. I couldn't imagine the diamond being, like, giant. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I suppose the diamonds could get to be, like, at least 30 or 40 pounds. And that guy right there is another tiger muskie. So, a silver is about 10 pounds. I would imagine... A gold probably is around 15, maybe 20, and then diamond probably like 25 or 30. So I'm curious if this, if this isn't rivaling stuff like the lake trout, what would out of this new list of species? I, I don't think anything else would. So I'm assuming that this is what they meant. Maybe they just meant some of the existing species and not necessarily the biggest existing species. But uh, either way, that's a pretty decent little muskie right there. And the location we're currently fishing at is uh, right over here. This has always been a pretty decent spot to go if you want stuff like pike. So I figured it would be decent for musky as well. And it definitely seems like it is. And right now we're just uh, doing the twitching technique on a one speed using the size five jerk bait. And there we go. Another fish already. Let's see what we've got here. This one's putting a little bit of strain on the setup, so maybe this is a larger one. Yeah, maybe. Okay, that is a pike. So, uh, <laughs> it's honestly, man, it's kind of looking like we might, we might end up seeing the pike and the muskie be very similar in size. Which is interesting. I would have expected the muskie to be a lot larger, but I mean... Both silvers were around nine pounds, so definitely interesting. Ooh, there we go. That looks good. And there we go. That might be our best one of the day, possibly. 
And that's only a bronze. I thought it looked a little bit bigger, but I guess not. For those that are uh, not familiar with the Tiger Muskie, it's essentially a crossbreed between a Northern Pike and a Muskie. And so then you get a Tiger Muskie. So these aren't going to be as big as like a regular Muskie, but they still get larger than Pike typically. So yeah, after doing a little bit of uh, research, it says the Tiger Muskie can reach over 30 pounds and the world record is around like 44 if I'm not mistaken. So they definitely should be able to get a little bit bigger than a pike, but I, I could see them being around the same, I guess. It, it isn't too far-fetched that they could do that and have it be uh, decently realistic. Let's get this little guy in. I assume this is probably another Tiger Muskie. It's definitely looking like it is. I think after we reel this guy in, we're going to head over to a different area and see if we can maybe catch ourselves some walleye. I would love to hook into a walleye today. There we go. We got a fish last second on the grub. Is that? It's a pike. It's a pike. Of course it is, because, you know, what else would it be? Oh, wow. That was instantaneous. Uh, this seems to be a better fish as well. Either it's a larger pike. Um, potentially a muskie, I suppose, and hoping that it's just a big walleye. What do we got here? It's a pike, of course. I mean, that might be a muskie, actually. I think that looks more muskie-like than it does pike-like. Yes, that is a muskie. It appears you can get the muskie right next to the starting outpost. So from what I'm seeing, stuff like the walleye and the shovel nose sturgeon appear to be nighttime fish, so we're going to have to wait until it gets dark to fish for those. In fact, we might have to wait for an entirely different video for those. So in the meantime, I decided to come up to this lake that only has the brand new trout species, as far as I can tell. It said it's got the orange trout, the cutthroat trout, and the brook trout, so hopefully we can manage to hook into just those. There we go, we got a fish on. Let's see what this ends up being. Please be a cutthroat trout. That's one that we have not seen today. Honestly, a brook trout would not be bad either. We haven't seen one of those yet, so I'm hoping it's one of those two. Knowing my luck, though, probably an orid trout. And yeah, it's an orid trout. Well, at least we got something. There we go. Finally, another fish on. I had to go down to a size 7 uh, spinner. I was trying out the spoons again. I tried doing a larger spinner. None of that would work, so I had to go to a size 7. That might be a brookie. Yeah, that's a brook trout. Our first... Oh, no, it's a cutthroat. Never mind. That's a cutthroat trout. In the, uh... Kind of like the shade, it looked like it was a brook trout. But I guess that's a little cutthroat. What a beauty. I do quite a bit of trout fishing IRL, so it's really nice to see them bringing a bunch of new trout species to the game. It's by far what I was most excited about whenever I saw the list of species that were going to be added. Seeing cutthroat trout is just, it, it's so nice. That's the fish I've definitely caught the most of throughout my uh, childhood and uh, even after then. Oh, 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 there we go. And we got a good one. That's a decent fish right there. Let's go. Is that an orange trout? I think it is. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that beast right there. What a crazy turn of events. I was getting like virtually nothing good to bite. As you guys saw, the last few fish have been small. Uh, they've been few and far between. There's been a lot of time in between each catch and to just suddenly have this guy come out of nowhere that is incredible for those curious this is the little pond that we are currently at and it seems like it's really really good for the trout as you can see brook trout cutthroat trout orange trout that's the only ones that you can catch here and it does seem like they're decently plentiful though uh, i'm not a exactly at the uh, best time for them it seems because the bite was not super good even though there was a lot of fish i was seeing uh, they weren't biting super consistently. Could just be the time of day. Could be I wasn't using the right lure. Whatever it is, it does seem that there still is a lot of fish there, even if I wasn't catching a ton of them. But anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching this little first look at the brand new update here on the Angler. I am incredibly impressed with a lot of the stuff that they've done. Uh, it really is a breath of fresh air. So thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you haven't already, hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of this update is. And also let me know if you're excited for the console release because that is going to be happening very, very soon.
But with all that being said, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!